Welcome back. So Chrome OS version 137 has been rolling out to most Chromebooks this week. So in this video, as always, I'll give you a quick update on what's new. The recent community poll you guys voted on gives hope that a bigger Chrome OS update is expected by most of you this year. Chrome OS 137 may not be it, but there's definitely some interesting developments. I'm on the new 2025 ASUS Chromebook Plus CX15 to check out some of these updates. You can see my initial impressions of that one in the video I released this week if you haven't already checked it out. As always, it looks like there are some Chromebooks that haven't received the Chrome OS 137 update just yet. So just looking at cross.tech here with Gemini having helpfully written me a bit of code to filter it, it seems the majority of devices still on Chrome OS 136 look like they're running 8th gen Intel Core processors. So perhaps there's a bug or an issue being ironed out related to those. First up, you may have noticed a new app pinned to your Chromebook shelf. That's the Notebook LM app. And much like we've seen the Gemini app pinned to the shelf before, we're now getting a progressive web app, a PWA, for Notebook LM there. If you haven't already tried this out, think of it as AI for a set of reference materials that you give it. One of the most unique things to do is provide it with some documents, web pages, or even YouTube videos and have it create a podcast from Welcome to the deep dive. We're uh, sorting through a pile of notes and some video today, really getting into something pretty new. The Asus Chromebook Plus CX-15. That's the CX Web View Oval 5 model. Yeah, the 2025 version. Exactly. And our main source here is an unboxing and first impressions video, so we get a really good like hands-on feel from that. Someone's actually got it out of the box. You may have seen my posts last week about this showing up in the beta channel for Chrome OS if you follow on X Threads or Blue Sky. Speaking of which, I also shared how the Chromebook perk of a trial of the Google One AI Premium plan has been updated to use the new name of Google AI Pro. It's still 12 months free for Chromebook Plus models and three months free for regular Chromebook models. Of course, that ties in some of the use of the advanced features in Notebook LM, much like it does in Gemini, so again it makes more sense of why we're seeing the Notebook LM app pinned to the shelf. Next up, it's an update related to face control, the accessibility feature we saw introduced in January this year in Chrome OS 132. We then saw it further refined in April in Chrome OS 135, and now there's a new policy, face gaze enabled. That allows admins to have more control over face control in their school or organization. I've no idea, but perhaps if students have given up trying to cause their Chromebooks to explode, a less malicious activity is trying to confuse their peers by turning on face control on their Chromebook. Also in Chrome OS 137, admins may want to check out the ability to use event-based log collection. So when an event, such as a Chromebook not updating, occurs, the admin can easily get the details to make troubleshooting that little bit easier. Next up, we've got Crosstalk Cancellation, which is aimed at providing a better audio experience from your Chromebook's internal speaker with any audio, but especially with spatialized audio. This doesn't seem like an audio setting you can just toggle on and off in the settings, but I found a website with a spatialized audio test and it worked, but I could tell no difference when I tested on a Chromebook running Chrome OS 136. So if there are any audio files out there that can explain this one better, please do drop a comment. Next up, you've likely heard of the accessibility feature ChromeVox. For those that don't need it for accessibility, you've maybe heard it kick into life if you've ever been too slow in setting up your Chromebook. The screen reader on Chrome OS, ChromeVox, is primarily used by people with blindness or low vision to read text displayed on the screen with a speech synthesizer or braille display. Press the space bar to turn on ChromeVox. When Chromevox is activated, you'll go through a quick tour. Chromevox now enables a command that displays spoken text as Braille captions on connected USB or Bluetooth Braille displays, which sounds like an amazing accessibility feature. Of course, you've got the new Chrome browser too, and I'm sure a number of bug fixes that we won't necessarily know about. If you've noticed something else new in Chrome OS 137, please drop a comment down below. Don't forget a like for this video if it's been useful, and in the meantime, catch up on last month's Chrome OS 136 release on the video on the left of your screen to watch next. Otherwise, the YouTube algorithm's choice for you is the video on the right. Cheers.